again! Welcome to part 9 of Ho'oponopono Explained, continuing on reading from the Little Blue Book. So continuing it says, the spirit of Ho'oponopono, peace begins with me. The management expert and psychologist Anthony Robbins reports that success in his seminars on personal development and neurolinguistic programming NLP depends on the individual's experiences and these experiences are based mainly on mistakes. Past errors like a company bankruptcy or a wrecked marriage only become mistakes if we do not learn from them. Otherwise they are merely events and experiences. For many years I felt annoyed and inwardly belittling myself for my mistakes. I resented those who had harmed me and frequently thought about them so continuing to allow them mental force and power over me. The healing of my soul began in a literally encounter, literary encounter with Louise. Hey, she recommended me to love myself. I forgive myself. I am sorry. I love myself. Thank you. A little Ho'opono exercise. Look into your past and find a mistake or error of judgment for which you cannot forgive yourself. Observe it from a distance. Look closely at the event and appreciate it as something that has contributed to your learning process. Do not imagine that you could have spared yourself this error. If you had not made it, it would still be approaching you. Now forgive yourself for having been annoyed about it for so long. Oh. Then say the four magic sentences, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you, and let go of it forever. Nice. Forgiveness is an effective mental and physical antidote to poison. Negative thoughts poison our body. First the soul becomes sick and then the body. Constant stress, impatience and ill humor sore the body and poison the cells. Untimely aging, loss of drive and depression are the usual consequences. A guilt-laden spirit becomes melancholy, but if we love and forgive ourselves despite our past faults, we strengthen our immune system and rejuvenate. Is it not possible to alter other people? No. Rewind. I forgot a word. It is not possible to other, alter other people, but everyone can begin with themselves and in this way, act as a model for others. This world can experience peace if we find harmony within ourselves, are at rest within and do not look only for external happiness. If we have peace within ourselves we can pass it on. People change when they themselves want to change direction. There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving and that's your own self. Nice. So continuing on healing the past. Over a lifetime events can happen that leave behind wounds that are hard to heal. Perhaps we were wounded by someone in the body or soul. Perhaps we were victims of an ill treatment. Whatever it was we cannot undo what was done but we can remove its harf harmful influence from our past. The past lives in us in the form of memories. It is still present in us and the meanings we attach to events from the near or distant past are directed by our current feelings. We Do we accord to others the right to determine how we speak, act or think? No. When we change the feelings that link us to events, we also change our memory and when we change our memory we change our view of the present and the future. Sometimes that necessitates long years of therapy but with Ho'oponopono this quantum leap often succeeds within a few minutes. The moment of power is now. I would like now to invite you to just a, such a quantum leap. The, the driving force behind our actions is our subconscious and we or rather someone has programmed our subconscious. Perhaps your parents believed you to be a failure or you have a partner who tries to control you by telling you how bad you are. The fact is the only thing that counts is what you believe. Only what you believe about yourself, your self-image counts. A Ho'opono exercise. Morning and evening please place yourself before a mirror and repeat 10 times intensely. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, your first name, thank you. 
Perhaps the change does not happen straight away and you even become enraged or saddened. However, it may be if you have not loved yourself over long years. It is hard to suddenly love yourself from now on. We live by our habits and perhaps we must first get in the habit of loving ourselves. This is not egotistical but sensible. Make a habit of loving yourself. Thinking negatively about yourself and others is only a habit and it is one that you can give up. Yay. Now, down below, I'm going to put a link to how to let go of the belief I'm not good enough. Okay, it's a link that you can go to to recreateyourlife.com, which is Shelley and Morty Lefko, and you can do that process for free. So I'm going to put the direct link down there. I have mentioned it before. Now, on that note, Shelley Lefko, Morty has died and passed on. Shelley has had a car accident and I know some of you have emailed me about that, about wishing her and sending her prayers and for me to mention it on the channel. So I'm doing so because the collective consciousness of healing is a powerful one. So radiate love out to her in meditation today, tomorrow for a week, whenever you think of her. And remember the interview that I did with her about beliefs. I will put that down below for those of you that didn't see it. Okay, so that's it for that part. And I'll see you in the next YouTube.